Hello and welcome to another packing video. That's right, so today I'm gonna go through what I pack in my carry-on. Now this can be uh, several different reasons why you would want to pack a carry-on. One is it's just smaller, it's a lot easier to take with you. Um, two is airline fees that you don't wanna actually pay, so you want to try to avoid packing a large luggage. So this is kind of uh, what I would pack in a sort of travel-y uh, beach vacation or just, just general travel trip for anywhere between two to four days, maybe five days. You could probably stretch it five days or any kind of business travel. I also cover, I'll cover some options for what I would pack if I was doing like a business trip or a conference. So yes, let's get started. First things first, we've got to pick out our carry-on luggage. Now I have a lot of different pieces of luggage, a lot of different pieces of carry-on luggage. Now there are several things that I like to look for in my carry-on luggage. First thing is hard case. I like to make sure it's a hard case. Not only does it make it more sturdier, it also makes it waterproof. Next thing I like to look for is four wheels so it rolls along really nice and easily. Another thing I look for is a built-in lock. So I don't have to have any external locks. I could just lock it on the device. Now this piece of luggage is from Away. Let me just open that up and show you. Hey, there we go. Um, so this is the brand Away. That's what this luggage piece is called. Um, it's actually a smart luggage. It has uh, USB ports right back there so you can charge up your electronics. Now, let me show you what I'm gonna pack in my carry-on, shall we? Let's go through clothing. So, like I said, this is a more of a casual travel, beachy, um, any kind of summer travel or vacation. That's kind of what I'm planning for. But obviously, depending on what trip you're taking or where you're going, you gotta have to play around with the type of clothing you're gonna bring because you gotta dress to the weather. You might have uh, longer stuff, like more long sleeves or long pants or warmer clothing if you're going somewhere warmer or even less warm clothing if you're going somewhere really, really hot. But this is kind of the general, no matter what temperature it is that I'm going, that I like to bring. So let me show you. So I like to bring a couple different things. First thing is athletic gear. Um, I like to make sure I always have kind of like a sports bra, workout shorts, and a workout shirt because not only am I doing activities when I travel, but I'm also trying to keep fit. And those rare occasions that I get time to do some exercise, I do like to always have something active. So just so I have it there and I have no surprises and I always, I can't have any excuses not to do stuff. Next is I like to bring one little uh, kind of like a jumper or a romper. I always like a summer one, sometimes I bring a longer one. But uh, these are always great because you can wear them anywhere pretty much. And they're really fun and they're easy. And then I also like to bring one more like kind of dressier one that I could dress up or I could dress down. This one's actually a dress. I can also wear it to the beach. It's kind of versatile. I like to bring two kind of like loose or light long sleeve shirts. I get really cold, I don't know about you guys, but I get really cold all the time, even in hot weather. And also in tropical destinations, you find that at nighttime it can get quite chilly. So I like to have a couple different rompers that I can kind of play around or I could just wrap them around my waist if I'm not using them. This is kind of like a longer sleeve one. It's kind of just like a nice loose long sleeve shirt that I can kind of roll up or like this tie around my waist. If I'm wanting to be fashionable and hipster, like I can tie it around my waist and it looks great. Then I like to always make sure that I have a pair of long pants. Um, these ones are white pants. If I was going somewhere a little bit more dirtier <laughs> or I could get dirtier, I might want to bring not white pants because white pants aren't always the best to travel with because they get, they don't really stay white that long. Depending on where you're going, Depend, wait or not. Next, we've got more like day stuff. Um, so I'll bring two pairs of shorts. One uh, pair of shorts is more of like a funkier patterned short that I can like really dress up and have fun with. Um, and then the other set of shorts is more of a standard jean shorts, literally just standard jean shorts um, because I can wear these for like five days straight and not have to wash them, and it's great. No, seriously, and then just go with everything. Now we have shirts. Oh, the shirts. Um, I like to pack one like beachy style shirt, so something that's really light, um, that I could go to the beach, I could do activities with. Then I like to do two 
like kind of more date-like shirts. So these are just general shirts that I would wear out and about exploring on my travels. And then I like to bring one more kind of a fancier kind of evening shirt that I could dress up if I need to wear something, you know, a little bit more fancier. Now these are all, again, casual general travel stuff, but if I was packing more conferency and more event, I would pack something a little bit more fancier, maybe switch out some of the regular shirts for some more like business like shirts or sheer shirts like so um, my yellow my yellow dress I would replace with more of a uh, more of a fancier dress something just a little bit more dressed up um, that I could wear to like a cocktail party or any kind of party or like a fancier dinner um, and I would put I would replace one of my light blue or my like long sleeve shirts that are kind of more loose and casual and I would include a more fitted jacket, um, a more business style fitted jacket. Next thing is a rain jacket. As much as I don't want it to rain, um, sometimes it happens and so I like to be prepared for it because uh, I hate being unprepared for stuff. So if it rains, I wanna make sure I have a rain jacket or if it's the winter time, I'll have a winter jacket or I'll have some type of jacket um, with me. On that note, I also carry an umbrella, a small umbrella that I can pack around because again, if I'm filming or if I have gear, an umbrella is very, very important. Another thing I like to bring is a day purse. Um, this is just like a tinier purse because this is carry-on. It's smaller. Um, if I was doing regular luggage, I might have a slightly bigger purse, but just something I can wear in the evening or like if I don't wanna bring my big camera bag with me, I could just have a regular purse. Also, I like to make sure I carry pajamas. Just a simple pair of pajamas. This is a t-shirt and a pair of board shorts. Sunglasses. I will only pack one pair of sunglasses if I'm doing carry-on. Um, unless it's like a crazy beach vacation, then I might do two. But generally, if I'm just doing a carry-on, it's a shorter trip, so one pair of glasses is fine. Hair straighteners. This is a mini hair straightener. I got this from Sephora, um, and it's it's quite decent. It's not, you know, it's no full-length hair straightener, but I kind of make the sacrifice for the space because I'm so limited on space. It can straighten and it can wave my hair, um, and it gets the job done for the couple days that I'm away. Toiletries and makeup. Now, if you notice, my toiletry bag is actually see-through. This is a waterproof see-through case. Very important because I hate liquid spilling onto all my stuff. Also, that means when I take this bag out uh, for the TSA check, I don't actually need to put it in a plastic bag because they'll accept a see-through bag. So I don't have to take anything out. I just take this and then put it back. First thing is I do a travel size, travel friendly hairspray. Simple moisturizer that also has SPF in it. We've got my toothbrush. Uh, we have a, this is a container of my face wash that I use. I just put it in like one of these portable goo tubes so it's nice and small and smaller than it normally is. So this is Moroccan oil. As you can see, I use it quite a bit just to like smooth out my hair. And then we have a makeup remover, little thing of toothpaste, a mini thing of hand lotion, eye drops, floss, this big honker that's deodorant. Uh, I'm still looking for a smaller deodorant. This is not really practical for carry-on. I like to utilize these little sample packages of shampoo and conditioner if I'm just literally doing a week trip uh, because I can generally two to three washes on my hair um, and if I wash every other day, then that can last six days. So that's like a solid week of shampoo and conditioner. And then also normally most of the places I stay, if it's a hotel, will have shampoo and conditioner, so I'm not too, too worried. But um, this just makes it less, a lot less stuff to pack. And then last, I will pack my foundations. This is my makeup foundation because normally it'd be in my, my makeup bag, but because it's carry-on, I need to take it in the see-through bag through TSA. Makeup! So this is just a little makeup bag that I have, and I really downsized my makeup to the absolute essentials. So we've got a blush, a bronzer, a lipstick. I bring my little palette. So this is a eyeshadow palette, so it's very neutral, but also can be glam, so I can wear it in the evening, I can wear it in the day. Mascara. I bring uh, my mascara primer, a little bit of cover-up, 
and my makeup brushes. I do bring full brushes because I'm hopeless applying makeup without brushes. My eyebrow tools and my brush. Yes, that is my hairbrush. It's also a brush and it's a comb. It does everything and it's tiny and small and that's my makeup kit. Very simple, nice and easy. Now, shoes! Um, so I'll bring three pairs of shoes. One pair of shoes I will be wearing. Um, that'll just be like my everyday walking shoes. And then I'll also pack two pairs uh, because this is again, a kind of a travel trip, uh, vacation trip. I'm bringing kind of like evening shoes or fancier shoes or dinner shoes. So these are just a simple wedge. I love wedges for travel because they're easy to pack and they're easy to walk in. And this just kind of glams up my outfits, plus a bag to carry it in. Um, then I'll also bring a pair of active shoes, running shoes for activities, for exercise, um, and all those needs. These are my stuff sacks that I'm gonna pack all my clothes in. I also pack a tripod, that's just cause I need it for filming gear. And I'll pack that in my carry-on. Now, if I was going for a business conference, I would not take summery wedges and instead I would put a pair of more fancier heels in uh, again for evenings for dinners um, and for dressing up next thing is my second carry-on so I actually bring two carry-ons one is my hard case and the other is my camera bag um, so this was my camera bag slash laptop bag slash all my electronics are in here bag um, this is actually called the Nadine bag believe it or not it's from uh, aid de camp aid de camp um, and it is a multi-use bag. I think it's just a coincidence that it's called the Nadine bag, but awesome, I have a bag named after me. Anyways, let me open this up for you. So inside here, we have a whole lot of items. As you can see, my laptop. So my laptop, I place right in there, zip that in, and then it has this removable camera sleeve. So I can actually take this out if I'm not using my camera at the time, or I can keep it in and it pads my camera gear. So as you can see, I've got one of my big cameras, I've got my microphone, I've got all of my battery chargers. I always bring my battery chargers, <laughs> well, everything's a carry-on, but I like to keep that all together. Secondary cameras, any chargers that I need, any cords, I'll put in there. My headphones, I'll have there, as well as I like to put uh, my notebooks, this is where I write down all my thoughts, and a book book to read well on various planes, trains, and automobiles. And this is that bag. And now we pack. Plus underwear. Don't forget the underwear. I forgot to mention that. This is, this is my underwear in here. Sunglasses in my carry-on. So there we go, I have my smaller carry-on, my electronics carry-on, and my full carry-on packed up. All nice and compressed there, make sure everything is all good. And now, I'll take my rolly carry-on and place my bag, which has this see-through pocket, or I guess through-through pocket? I don't really know what to call it. And that will go right over top of my handle, like so. So if you look behind, it's actually attached there. And because this is a four wheel luggage, it doesn't tip over, see? It just wheels, great, like so. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that insight into what I pack on my carry-on bags. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I post packing videos and more tips and travel advice all the time. And yeah, see you guys again in a few days time with another video, bye!